Hi, it's Matt here from pilotpracticeexams.com. So let's have a look at the Bravo loading system for the RPL, the PPL, and the CPL. So CASA is going to give you arms and weights, and then you're going to multiply those out, and then you're going to divide that number by a thousand to get to get the moments over a thousand in inch pounds. So what we're going to do here, I'll just give you another example. So if they, if they gave us an empty weight of a thousand for the aircraft here, and we multiplied it by 80, we'd get 80,000. Divide that by a thousand, and it's going to give us 80, a moment of 80 over a thousand inch pounds. And the reason we use that measurement is because that's what the graph is in here. See the, uh, the axis down here is the moment over a thousand. So we just do that little equation there. And that, you don't really need to remember this. It's written there. You just remember how to, ha how to do it. So I've given you another one here. Let's have a look. Rear seat passenger. Let's say the rear seat passenger is going to a total of 300 kilos. 300 times 126, which is the arm, gives us 37,800. Let's divide it by 1,000. And that's going to give us 37.8 instead of 44.1 if they were worth 350. So then what we're going to do is we're going to total up all of those. We're going to come over here and we're going to look at this here, our total weight. Sorry, our total uh, moment in over a thousand in inch pounds and our total weight. So we're going to go 2192. So that's going to be sort of up here. I'll just change that to a pencil. It's going to be just, uh, sorry, 2192. Yep, it's going to be just above this line here. So it's going to be right up here. And then it's going to be at 198. So there's 200. There's 190. So that's going to be 198, that line there. And it's going to be that point there, which I'm just going to make a little bit bigger so you can see it. Then what we need to do is work out what happens. So this is our flight envelope. And if we're within this flight envelope, we can safely fly. If we're within this utility category here, then we can do things that are allowed within the utility category. If we're outside that, then we can only fly normal flight or the normal category. So then they're going to tell you how long your flight is and you need to calculate how much fuel burn that is. And to start with, it's 141 litres, which is 222 pounds. And again, you can go to URSA or the VFRG for those conversions. So there it is there. A litre is 1.76 pounds. So that point we just did tells us that we're safe to take off. But now we need to burn all our fuel and see if it's going to remain safe during flight. So let's take that fuel down to zero. So we need to take off uh, 222 pounds and we need to take off 20.02 moments over a thousand inch pounds. So we go 2192 minus 222 is going to be 970. That's going to become what we call our zero fuel weight. And over here we're going to go 198.3 minus the 20.2 there is going to be 178.1. So now we need to find those two points on the graph. So 1970 and 1970, there's uh, 1960, 1980, 1970 is going to be halfway there. And then it's going to be 178. So there's, we keep going across, that's going to be the 178 is about there. Or a little cross. Okay, now that first point was 2192, which was up here. Somehow I seem to have got rid of that. And 198.3, which is about there. So then what I do is I draw a line between those two points, and that represents. I'll make it a little bit bigger just for you, but you don't want to make it any bigger than you need to. Okay, that represents the weight of my aircraft when it takes off is the top of the line and when we land is the bottom of the line. And because the fuel tanks in this particular uh, loading chart are over the centre of gravity, the fuel burn will tend to go in that direction. Okay, so however, some of the other ones where you have tanks located in different locations like for example on loading chart echo that may not necessarily be the case loading chart echo is for cpl level 
So let's make that thin again so that it's accurate. Always do your charts absolutely as thin as you possibly can with a thin clear ruler and a sharp pencil in your CASA exams. Now just above this you'll notice there's this graph here and you can use this to work out these numbers just here. As an example over here our fuel weighs 222 pounds and it comes out at 20.2. If we didn't want to calculate that out, we didn't have a calculator or whatever, we could come up here and we go 222 which is our fuel and we come across till we hit the fuel line which is their standard fuel that line there so 222 till we hit that first line which is about there and we come down and as you can see it's 20.2 so it's going to give us these figures here however when it comes to doing your CASA exam you're allowed to take in a basic calculator you're going to be much more accurate if you actually multiply these out than get multiple re graph readings and then tack them there on together. So the typical CASA question is going to give you a list of weights like this and then they're going to tell you to go and use loading chart Bravo. So you're going to have to come to this page and you're going to have to multiply the weights they give you here by these numbers and then you're going to have to calculate these out and then you're going to have to find your total and your total and you're going to have to graph it and they might well ask you your zero fuel weight as well and they might ask you you know is it in the is it within the uh, envelope you know at zero fuel weight or takeoff weight or takeoff weight minus 50 kilos things like that so they're going to basically give you a bunch of numbers tell you to go to the loading chart multiply it out and find out if it fits within the safe flight envelope well, they might ask you, does it fit within the utility category? So in which case it needs to fit within this window. So you'd graph it out the exact same way, but it would have to fit within this uh, utility category here to be able to be used in the utility category. 